What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am at Mission Viejo Country Club. I came down to Mission Viejo. I'm visiting this beautiful country club today. I'm with my friend Kyle. What is going on? And we will be playing a two-man scramble. You guys have seen this before on my channel a lot. If you haven't seen it already, I just recently uploaded a nine-hole one-person video. I am starting Road to Scratch on my channel, so I hope you guys enjoy that and follow along. We're starting on hole number seven today at Mission Viejo, which is our hole number one, par four, dog leg right. There is some water way out there, like three and like 300, 315 zone. Kyle's got driver, he's gonna lead yep. us off. All right, driver should leave me no issues. Hopefully just put one in the fairway to start this video off and get it on the right tone, so. Let's do it. Right a little bit, we should be in the fairway. Nice. All right. Good swing. All right, I've got three wood here on this par four. I'm just gonna try to aim kind of on the left side of those bunkers and try to play a draw. Cutting on me a little bit. It just hit the car path and it kicked back down into the fairway. I think it bounced like 40 yards forward, so we're getting pretty close to <laughs> what? the front of the green there. I just finished filming a two-man alternate shot with Kyle, so I will link his channel into the description. You guys can check that out. That was my first time ever playing an alternate shot on YouTube, and I don't know. Like, it was a pretty cool experience. I won't give any spoilers, but we had a fun time. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was a good time. <laughs> yeah, the putter was the putter was on, but uh, yeah, you guys just go check it out and let us know what you think. Alrighty, here's where the ball ended up. I hit the cart path back there, and the ball literally jumped 50 feet in the air to the spot. Kyle's ball was not bad, just back there a little bit by the 150 sign in the rough. So we did end up taking mine here, 100 yards to the pin. Yeah, you just out drove me with your three wood by probably like 70 yards. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna try to put one close here. I got a pitching wedge, definitely gotta take a lot off of this just because I'm really in between clubs, but I'm gonna try to roll this one up there. Perfect. Uh, I think it just stayed on the fringe there on the right by the yeah. bunker. It's all right. I mean, I know AJ's gonna put one in closer, so it's fine, but I wish I hit that one a little bit better. Got 100 yards into this pin here. I've got a 56 degree and I'm gonna play a little bit of like a three-quarter shot, just a little more controlled, a little more spin so it can grab when it hits the green. Pin's in the back, so I'm really gonna try to fly it there and get it get it back there by the pin. Oh, good bounce. It's feeding in. It hit off the slope by the bunker and kicked forward, so we are on the back of the green about pin high. We'll be, we'll be looking at about a 15 to 20 footer for birdie. All right, pulling up to the green, this is where my ball ended up. Kyle was just back there on that slope a little bit. We have an uphill putt. It looks like it's gonna go a little bit right to left. I am pretty much at the peak of my season right now in college golf, so I'm on the range quite a bit, practicing with my wedges and everything like that. And I'd say my most improved part of my game has been wedges over the last few weeks. So I'm pretty happy with that result right there. Kyle's gonna lead us off and we're gonna try to make it. All right, we're gonna try to give AJ a good read here. Hopefully even just knock it in so we can walk away with a nice little birdie to start here. Oh, perfect speed. Straight. No break? Felt like it went straighter than I thought, but. Yeah. All right, Kyle's didn't break too much. I'm gonna play just inside of his line with the same amount of speed and uh, see if we can start us off with a little bird. Oh. It really didn't break. I thought that was dropping. dropping. Yeah, no, it looked like it went way more right than it did on this one for us, unfortunately. But walking away from that one with a nice little par. Tapping right. par, so. Alrighty, through hole number one, we are even par. Not gonna complain with that start. That was just a really interesting putt. But as you guys can see, I did go back to the old faithful spider. I had switched it up with a blade putter recently just to kind of see how it would help or change my putting. But I had to go back to the old faithful and uh, spider's back in the bag. So moving on to hole number two, par five. Let's get it. 
Alrighty, here we are on the hole number two. It is a par five straight away, not too much trouble. There is just some water up there by the green that could come into play on your second or third shot. Some buckers in the middle of the fairway within our landing zones, but. All right, Kyle's gonna lead us off here on this par five, hole number two, coming off of a par. Put one in the fairway here so AJ can just rip at it. Hopefully get home in two. Yeah, five, so. that's, our, that's our game plan today is that he's just gonna poke one out there and, and get us in the fairway and then I can swing freely and try to launch one. It's headed towards the right side just a little bit. It is short of those bunkers and safe in play. A little bit out right more than I wanted to, but still got a pretty good hold of that one and hopefully AJ can put one further up in the fairway now. Alrighty, driver in hand on this par five. I'm gonna try to take the same swing that I took on the last hole and play a little cut and uh, just try to get it past those bunkers. So I did push it and I think it cut into those trees. We'll take a look at it when we get up there, but we may be taking Kyle's. All right, here's where Kyle's ball ended up. We will be taking it. Um, he has a better angle here. I was just up on the right a little bit. We're trying to hit a 200 yard shot to kind of lay it up into this par five. You could reach it from here. It's like 270. So I could hit like a three wood and get it there. There's no point of trying to risk it like that. So we're just gonna play it smart, hit our second shots in the fairway give us a wedge so we can try to put it tight for birdie. All right, I got a nice little seven wood. I'm gonna swing this one smooth, leave us right in front of the water. Perfect. Good yeah. swing from Kyle there. Pop that one up a little bit, but should be fine right in the middle of the fairway. Just gonna go same play, just something that'll put me up there. I've got seven iron, just gonna try to lay it up. Get as close as we can to the water, but obviously not go in, so. Dead straight. Perfect. Nice I think ball. we're going to be right by each other up there. Yep. Rolling up to our shots here. We literally landed right next to each other. Perfect little 115 yard shot into a front pin. I'm probably going to hit a 52 degree to just kind of get it in the air, but I want it to come down soft and land on the green and not have too much spin. So Kyle's going to lead us off first. What do you have in hand? I got a pitching wedge. Just want to get this one right and tight. So Perfect. should be the number. That one was short. I don't know how that happened. I had wind at my back and I hit it pretty well, but left that one a little bit short. Could still get up and down from there, but would be ideal to have one on the green. Alrighty, 110 to the front. I've got 52 degree in hand. I'm gonna try to play a three quarter shot. Try to get it to land and, and stick right on the green when it hits. Yep, good ball. Looking at a birdie putt. All right, pulling up to the green. My ball is in here about 15 feet from the pin. I got pretty lucky because that ball actually did have a lot of spin on it. And this slope right here is pretty steep and it could have spun off like Kyle's did down here, but it's all right. We've got this putt left for birdie here, right back up the hill. It's gonna go a little left to right. Kyle will lead us off, see if he can make it. All right, let's see if we can drain a putt today. Ah. Died at the end. So you saw the line. Kind of just died quick at the end and turned a little bit too right, but that was a pretty much guaranteed par right yeah, there. We're but in. we're going to see if he can get us in for our birdie. All right. We are in for par. We're going to be a little bit more aggressive on this line. Hit it with a little bit more speed so it doesn't turn too much. Let's see if we can make our birdie. Same thing. I knew it right when I hit it. <laughs> Alrighty, par after hole number two, moving on to hole number three, a par four dog leg right. This, this next tee shot is actually supposed to be a replica of hole 18 at Augusta National. So, I don't know. If you guys could tell 
the similarities. Com comment down below and we'll see when we get up there. All right, here we are on hole number three of this six hole two man scramble. The tips are back there a little bit more, but this is kind of the picture of what Augusta number 18 would look like. It's kind of a replica with the long tee box, the bunkers on the left and how it kind of goes up and to the right. Not gonna lie, even here at Mission Viejo, this tee shot is almost as intimidating as the one on television. I mean, watching the Masters, looking at the tee shots with the sea of people surrounding the the tee boxes and everything like that like it looks pretty intimidating but another thing is those bunkers are perfectly placed so hitting drivers out of the picture for me I've got my two iron in hand and that's what I'll be hitting here today hole number three here Kyle's gonna lead us off with driver again got driver gonna try to hit a cut here open up the face a little bit let it cut right perfect nice right down the middle freeze up AJ as always we can let him rip at it. Still gonna stick with two iron here. Driver would be too much, and if I hit it straight rather than cutting, it would go through the fairway. So I've got two iron, just gonna try to rip it up the right side. Good ball. Yep, good line. Again, I think Kyle and I are right next to each other in the fairway. I think our balls are gonna be pretty close. So should have a good setup for our second shot to see if we can get on the green for a birdie. Alrighty, this is where my tee shot ended up. We are 117 yards from the flag. The wind is still at our back, but it's uphill, so it all balances out. We're probably gonna play at about the number. Right, Kyle's yeah. gonna show us the way. Alright, I got a nine iron. Last time from this distance, I had a pitching wedge, but I kinda wanna leave this one a little bit longer and make sure it gets up there this time since it's uphill, so. Perfect. Nine iron, smooth swing here. I chucked that one a little bit, <laughs> unfortunately, so didn't get there. Alrighty, going with a 52 degree here, downwind, just gonna try to get the ball in the air again, let it fly to the back of the green, and uh, hopefully put it tight. Ooh. Ooh. Did that hit the pin? Did it? It bounced left like immediately. It hit the ground and I think it hit the pin. <laughs> I think you did. Left. Holy cow. Dude. We'll see how close that is oh when we get God. up there. Wow. All right, coming up to the green, we will be taking Kyle's ball here short because mine hit the green and then it hit the pin and it jumped down there, down that hill to the left and we short sided ourselves a little bit. I like Kyle's shot here because we have a lot more room to work with and we kind of have a slope to where if we play the ball a little long, it should come back down towards the pin. I wish I hit mine just a little bit better because I feel like I need to contribute a little bit more. <laughs> We're going to try to stick this one close. Kind of want to roll it and let it feed in. So I like it. We're going to try our best to do that. That's it. Go in. Oh. Oh, that was close. Oh man, right. good shot. That one feels good to come back on, but let's see if AJ can maybe get it closer. What's up with this hole? It's just like, it wants us to hit it in. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, All right. we got that a good putt. A little too clean, got a lot of spin, and it checked up on me whenever it hit the green, but we'll take Kyle's putt, he's close, and we should walk away here with par. I'm gonna play for a little bit of break, let it die in. Got this left or far. All right, not too much work, just back down the hill. His didn't turn too much, so I'm not gonna play that much break. Just gonna play left edge. Yep. Nice pots. He did what I could not. <laughs> nice spot. All right, all right, three pars in a row, moving on to hole number four. Here we are on hole number four, Dog leg left par four up the hill. The green is just up there by that building. Typically I would hit driver here, but I am just gonna hit through it and try to find the fairway. Try to get set our team up to hit the green in two and start getting some momentum to make some birdies. Just got done eating my hot dog. <laughs> How's that hot dog taste? Pretty good. Yeah? Tastes like a birdie. Tastes like a birdie? Yeah. Love to hear that. Let's see what All we can right. find out there. Uphill. Huh? Perfect. Good. It's in the middle. Yeah, cut a little bit on me, unfortunately. So we're gonna have a far shot from my tee ball, but hopefully he'll put us in a better position. I changed my mind. We're playing in a scramble. My partner's in the fairway. There's no better element to hit my driver in. So I'm gonna swing pretty aggressive on this one and hit a little cut over the trees here and try to put us close to the green. Let's go.
Should be okay. Yeah. Pulling up to the fairway. We will be taking Kyle's ball. My ball unfortunately hit the cart path and went out up there. So we're looking at 166 yards to a back left pen. Not too much trouble, but when you get up to the green, it does slope from right to left. So if we aim it kind of by this tree right here, feed it in. It should just feed down to the okay. left. So I'm clubbing up right now just because I've been hitting everything a little bit short. So I got a six iron here. I'm going to try to draw it in and just let it roll up. Keeping it under the wind. Is it going to turn left? Ooh. Got a good kick. Good kick off the hill. It should have ran down by the right side of the green. I have seven in my hand right now, but I feel like that's going to be too much club. But I don't know, the wind is pretty strong in the face and it's uphill, so I'm going to go with the seven iron and just hit like a little three quarter knockdown shot. Good ball flight. Yeah, should be in closer than me. Yeah, I think it might be on the back side of the green. Hopefully it's not off, but it, it was, uh, the wind kind of died down right when I hit that shot. So let's hope that it held up enough just to stay on the green. Okay, rolling up to the green. Kyle's ball was here on the front side of the green and my ball did hold up here on the back. So we have a downhill putt towards that pin for birdie. When the wind's blowing out here in Mission Viejo, this golf course is also known as Mission Impossible because it's super, super tough to keep the ball in play when the winds are heavy. All right, not the best birdie opportunity here, but we do have a birdie opportunity nonetheless. So I'm gonna try to get this one in as always and uh, see how it goes down this hill. Did he do it? Did he do it? Oh! Oh my God. Wow. <sighs> That one stings a little bit. Oh, that was that a good was roll. Line. I just wow. hit a little too hard, so. Go. Good speed. Right in between the two of ours. Would have been great. All right, should be a nice little tap in for par. There we go. Someone teach me. Someone please <laughs> a tutorial on YouTube on how to pull a golf ball out of the hole, please. When the flag sticks in, it's a little when tough. When the flag sticks in. All right, guys, through four holes, we are still even par. Moving on to hole number five. Still searching for our birdie, but uh, we're not playing too bad of golf not out here. Not too bad. And he's yeah. out here even par. It's not terrible. Yeah, we're playing some pretty good team play right now. And uh, let's see what can happen next. Rolling up to hole number five. This is what we're looking at. We got a dog leg left, par four. The green is tucked around those trees there on the left. Kyle's gonna try to take driver and carry that left bunker right where that tree is. And just to be safe, I'm gonna hit five iron in the middle of the fairway just so we have another look. This tee shot's a little intimidating with that tree because if you pull it too much to the left, it can get trapped around that corner, then you have a blind second shot, yeah. but. That's a very narrow opening, so hopefully I can just hit a nice little draw. That should cover it. It's not bad. It's okay. That just ran. Off balance on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to swing out of that one. All right, Kyle is okay. He's just behind those bunkers on the right. I have five iron, and I'm just gonna try to peel one out into the middle of the fairway, just so we have a better lie. It hit the tree and kicked back into the fairway. So. We'll take a look when we get up there. I might be too far away to take mine, so we may end up taking Kyle's who has a better look at the green. All right, we're taking Kyle's ball here because he has a better angle at this green and he's a little bit shorter, 152 to that pin. Downwind, it's gonna play a little bit downhill as well, I believe. I got a seven iron, but you saying that makes me almost wanna take an eight. I have been leaving everything a little short today, so I kinda wanted to go with seven, but if I swing at this and commit to it, I think I can get this there. All right. I got an eight iron. Perfect. Carry should be good. Wow. A little short. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, seeing his come up short a little bit, I'm gonna go with more club as well. I'm gonna take a nine iron here and uh, do one of those little three quarter shots. And uh, my goal here is to put us on the green. So.
Oh my god. Holy. What a shot. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Wow. Oh, man. I don't know how closely you guys can see, but that ball is pretty tight up there by the pen. I think we're going to have a really good look at Birdie there. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, my ball ended up right where this tee is, and it looks like I landed a few feet past the hole. But we have a putt coming back down the hill for Birdie. Kyle will lead us off, try to make it. Let's get some momentum rolling, baby. Come on. Here we go. I'm gonna play this one for a lot of break and just see what happens. Try to die it right at the end and Perfect. roll it in there. Turn. I played it for a little bit too much break. Kind of psyched right. myself out on that one, but with that information, he's got the line. Putting has been hot for him today, so. <laughs> A little bit of work left here. All right, this is what we have left for par. And we're even through five. Come on, we got one birdie. hole left. We Come on, guys, birdie. we need one birdie. That's all we're asking for right here. We're putting good swings on the ball too. I mean, we're just kind of getting unlucky with our breaks and play. We're playing some good golf out here today. So, coming into the last hole. Let's try to get it. Alrighty guys, here we are on the last hole of this two-man scramble, still even par. Kyle, how are you feeling going into this last one? I'm feeling like we are due for a birdie. I say we are too. We've been yeah. close all day long, huh? This one's pretty dead straight. Hopefully we can get it close on our first shot, close on our second, and one putt. So all right. let's do it. Let's take the lid off of the cup. It's good. Right in the middle. Yeah. They're on the little bit on the right side, but good fairway. swing. Can't complain if you're on the fairway. Alrighty, got the D stick out here, and uh, my partner's in the fairway there, so I'm just gonna try to bomb one and hit a little drive around these trees, give us a nice little wedge into the screen. Holy. So I don't know how well it picked it up, but I hit it on the right side over there by that tree on the right, and then it kicked out of the mulch into the grass. So we actually have a wedge in. We're gonna have to take a look at the lie and make sure it's what we want. But if mine doesn't work out, Kyle's still in the middle of the fairway, so it's time to make some birdies. Let's go. All right, Kyle, tell the people what we're looking at. Let's get to it. All right, so we are taking AJ's ball. It's on this little side hill live, but it should be fine. We got about 100 yards to the pin, and we just kind of want to roll it up there. Kind of tough, but it should even out to around 100 after all the adjustments. I got a pitching wedge. I'm going to try to roll this one there and see what happens. Hit and run. It's running to the back. Yeah. Needed to aim that one a little more right since it was above our feet, but unfortunately didn't do that. Still on the green though, and uh, should be all right, yeah. We got a 56 degree in my hand right now. The ball's playing down a little bit, so I'm anticipating it to catch a flyer and just kind of jump off of the face. I just kind of want to land this over by the second right bunker and have it kick and hit and jump to the left. So, got about a 93 yard shot there. sit down all right all right not too bad i left this with a uphill putt towards the pin um kind of had a weird ball flight it started drawing and then like kind of faded towards the end so interesting shot shape there but we have a look for birdie and we're gonna try to make it all right on the green that's where kyle was my ball landed right here and we have this little uphill putt the pin's kind of sitting in a bowl it doesn't look like too much movement here on this putt if anything maybe a little left to right but it's going to be fairly straight it does look pretty straight i'm not expecting this one to do much i'm gonna go ahead and pull the pin and then we'll see what happens all right going right at the hole here straight at it harder ah. didn't help aj very much with that one unfortunately right. i definitely saw that it goes left to right so i'm just going to play it firm up the hill um gonna try not to play too much break just with the speed, everything should balance out. Oh, Do the honors here. All right. 
right. You can tap we'll us in for the last one. All right. And I can say that that's the first time I've ever played a scramble and had all pars. All pars. No all bogeys, pars. no birdies. Kyle, thanks for coming out today. Yep. It's really, an honor. Really appreciate you uh, coming to hang out with me this afternoon. You know, I wish I pulled a little more weight here in the scramble, but I'm, I'm glad at least we shot even. So. Yeah. I mean, we can't complain. Even par. You can't complain when you're making all pars. I mean, that's still you still have to play some good golf to do that. So, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to Kyle today for coming to hang out with us. Drop a like on the video, guys. Yes, drop a like. We just shot a two-man alternate shot. Again, that'll be on his channel. The link will be in the description. Shout out to Mission Viejo for hosting us today. We had a great time out here. The course is beautiful. It's in pure condition right now. Starting on March 1st, I'm going to start doing a double upload a week. I'm going to try to do a double upload a week uh, just so that way I can have some more consistent content for you guys. So comment down below what you guys would like to see. Uh, might be doing some driving range videos, show you guys some numbers, get stuff like that going. Start doing some more content with Kyle. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. We, so, we live pretty close to each other, so we could definitely make more content. Absolutely. If you guys want to see it. Yeah. So now that Kyle and I are hanging out, we'll definitely be shooting some more things together. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, guys, see you later.